Forgiveness. Is this something or a concept that our ancient pagan ancestors recognized or knew as even something that existed and something that they could use in their own societies? Is this something that we as modern heathens should be adhering to and using in our own pagan practices? Let's discuss it. Everybody. Hail and welcome to another episode of Midgard Musings. My name is Jesse and I'm the host here on this channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you like Norse heathenry, subjects on Germanic paganism, uh, Norse mythology, what many folks nowadays might call also true, uh, this is my channel and I talk every week about stuff relating to those subjects. So if you don't want to miss anything, please subscribe to the channel down below, ding the bell so you don't miss anything. Um, and thank you all for your support. The channel just recently reached 2,000 subscribers, which is uh, tremendous, and I'm very thankful for everybody uh, checking out my content. So today's subject of discussion is going to be on something that I got to thinking about uh, recently and wanted to just kind of offer my own spin or insight on it. Uh, and that is the concept uh, of forgiveness, uh, this virtue that we hear a lot of you know, various religions talking about various faiths or various spiritual practices, you know, that we're to forgive and, you know, this, this sense of, you know, letting things go and what kind of power that has. And is it even something that, you know, Germanic pagan, myself, folks like myself, or people who follow this sort of spiritual path, is this something that we have a concept of? Is it something that we should have a concept of? What does it even mean? Um, so this is going to be kind of my take on things, okay? Don't take what I say as 100% this is the way it should be. I encourage everybody to please do your own research and come up with things yourself, uh, depending on what kind of heathen you are. If you're leaning more towards the, you know, historical reconstruction side, or if you're, you know, sort of more into the new agey type of stuff, or if you're kind of middle of the road, somewhere, somewhere along the lines that I am. Um, I kind of go more towards the historical side, but I definitely feel that we are modern pagans, we are modern heathens, and uh, got to fit things from our ancestors' past to, you know, kind of work with our modern times and, and modern societies. But, you know, for, for starters, this concept of forgiveness, we should probably all know by now what it means. Uh, but the textbook definition of forgiveness is, you know, to cease to feel resentment against an offense. You know, to pardon somebody, to excuse somebody, or to give up uh, resentment or, 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 or claims for requital. You know, so we've kind of gone into the, the realms of just, yeah, let, let's bygones be bygones, and, um, you know, whatever is to be will be. We'll just not let it, you know, affect us that much. Let's just water under the bridge kind of thing. You know, so it requires someone to give someone else like a pass you know um, it's to look kind of to look beyond the transgression or the offense and in a sense like I said to just let it go I forgive you you know it's it's no big deal um, go ahead it's no you know, no problem no offense taken whatever now so we're gonna you know the things that we're talking about of why we won't you know why is forgiveness a, a t the topic that I want to discuss is obviously we're all human we're all gonna make mistakes you know, bumping into somebody, oh, I'm sorry, you know, and they say, okay, it's all right. You know, I'm not talking about minor offenses. I'm not talking about minor things that we do day to day as, as human beings that we would potentially look to someone else and ask their forgiveness for, say, I'm sorry for. I'm talking about larger scale type things. Somebody has done something against you or against your own, and there's a big, it's a big offense. It's a big deal, okay? Um, forgiveness kind of recognizes that the whole person is, I guess, more than the bad things they do, you know? So you look past the initial wrongs or, or, or things that are done and that, that the person themselves is, is greater than those wrongs that they do. It says, you know, something along the lines of like, okay, you hurt me, but I'm not going to let that hurt ruin a relationship or ruin a friendship. Um, let's just move on. You know, I'm not going to hold it against you. You know, said, and under the right circumstances, under the right 
scenarios, I guess, uh, this is this could be a good thing. Um, now, for us as heathens, you know, what would be, I got to thinking about this, what would be a right circumstance or the right situation for us to maybe overlook or, or should we even overlook those types of things, you know, as heathens? When would that right circumstance be that we hear about and, and how do we allow this approach into our unique worldview or our, or our unique view of things, how things work, how societies work? Now, I've seen some uh, articles and I've heard some people talk that, um, the, you know, they, they've raised the argument that the idea or virtue, if you will, of forgiveness is something that um, was not adopted, was not understood, this word didn't mean anything, there was no sense of what forgiveness is, um, as we understand it to mean, within a Norse society in, in like, you know, pre-Christian Scandinavia, even during the Viking Age. But these, you know, the Norse people didn't have this concept of forgiveness. Um, it's not something that they had to, to base their laws or, or societies off of. And while that may be true, while there may be no literal written laws from Iceland or any of the Scandinavian you know, countries that we have at least documented that include this term forgiveness, um, you know, you know, but we, what we do have and what we do see is that the, the laws that were written um, were, you know, fines were paid, debts were paid. You know, things were done to kind of balance out the wrong that was done against others. So that's where I think it kind of how we can fit it into our society now as, as, as heathens. Um, so that's part of what helps maintain a healthy society. When misdeeds are performed, when, when crime is committed, debt must be paid. Uh, otherwise, you'll just have, you know, this, this running rampantness of, of misdeeds and, and ill deeds and crime and nobody has any accountability, there's nothing to worry about in terms of, well, if I do this, there's a consequence for that. Um, so there was no just, yeah, you know what, you, uh, you did me wrong, man, and, and, but it's okay, I'll let this one slide, I understand you're falling on hard times, you know, whatever, um, it, you know, we'll let this one go. Um, it was, you know, back in those days, back in ancient, uh, or as we call arch times, you know, if a wrong was committed, um, there was most likely a debt that was needing to be paid um, or, or, or some sort of recompense, restitution was set in order. You know, you couldn't just go steal from somebody <laughs> um, uh, or, or take something that wasn't yours or, or perform an ill deed or, or, or some sort of act of violence of, of nefarious nature against somebody and then just expect it to just be like, yeah, okay, cool, you know, if, uh, if, if my neighbor Sven, you know, uh, stole a bunch of my cattle, you know, it wasn't enough for him to just come by and go, Hey, you know, sorry, man. Uh, sorry I stole your cows, and I hope you understand. You know, nothing against you. Um, I just needed, I just needed the, the cattle for whatever. It was nothing, you know, that wasn't the end of it. You know, at that point when, when the crime was, was committed and, and the perpetrator was found out, it was, you know, that offended party was, was obligated by the laws of the tribe to then pay restitution um, or, or, you know, the offending party, or excuse me, the offended party could demand or seek that restitution. They could go up, I could knock on Sven's door and be like, I know what you did, give me back my cattle, or, uh, you know, or there'll be, you know, a, a price to pay, there'll be something that has to happen if you don't do this. So there was this sense of, you know, tit for tat, you, you know, you, you take mine, I'm going to take yours, you give it back to me, if not, whatever. So depending on the severity of the crime or misdeed, you know, the, the repercussion could be more or less severe. Um, and the main thing that I wanted to focus on with that is that, you know, these laws, these uh, thews, if you will, were set by the tribe, maybe the leadership, if you will, and then they uh, set these things. So as you, as a member of the tribe, um, understood what was required of you, and, and you were therefore uh, obligated uh, by being a, a member to adhere to what those laws and rules were set in place. You know, so you agreed to that. You 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 established that uh, frith with the rest of the tribe, and you understood that there's now an obligation for me to abide by the rules. You know, follow the laws. And if I don't, here's what can happen. Now, those outside of the that tribe, those that were not part of the the organized society, those that were perhaps Utlingard or beyond, 
know, they were not bound by that social order uh, that was found within. And so the obligation was not set for them to, to pay a debt or to right a wrong. Um, you know, so the way I see it, you know, this is kind of a, you know, and how, you know, we're talking about things that existed or happened in ancient times. Uh, how does this fit into modern society for us as modern heathens? How are we able to, you know, if this is something you want to, you know, fix into your social construct, your tribal construct, can you? How do you? You know, so I think it's a broad question that has even, you know, a broader answer. Um, but I'm just going to give my take, you know. So again, what I'm saying here does not, is not set as, a, it's just like, this is how everybody's going to do it, so everybody should do it based on this, that, or the other. This is kind of my own take on it, okay? So take that with a grain of salt, take it as you will. Um, you know, but my take on it is that how we practice forgiveness kind of depends uh, entirely on us as individuals and whether uh, or not the tribe or kindred or collective of heathens that we are a part of has, you know, chosen to, to adopt this, this view within that, that social construct, within that tribe. You know, so for me personally, um, I'm the type that I don't feel a sense of obligation to forgive or give a pass to anybody who's not in my, you know, part of my Utengar, anybody who's not within my inner, uh, inner yard, my inner circle. I don't feel an obligation to them and I don't expect them to feel an obligation to me. You know, so if things are being, if, if, if something is done um, by somebody who I am not obligated to in any sort of way, um, and they ask for my, you know, forgiveness, or, and they want me to, you know, forgive them, um, it's up to me. It's, I may feel particularly nice, or I may, you know, feel a certain way, and I might accept their apologies, and I might, might you know, Im imbibe that forgiveness upon them, but if, if not, um, tough luck, it's sorry, that's, if, if I'm not feeling it, then I'm not gonna, I'm not going to deliver that satisfaction, I'm not going to give that to you. Same way as I wouldn't expect them uh, to, to do that for me. Um, you know, so no matter how big or small the offenses may have been, um, if it was done by somebody who's Utengard to me, who is outside of my inner circle, um, then obviously we don't have this mutual understanding of, of an obligation that would have been established through ties of frith. Okay? So we don't have this need of understanding between one another that, yep, he did me wrong, now I have to pay him back, you know, the restitution for that or you know I did him wrong I have to pay them back it's we don't have that understanding so there's no sense for that so therefore forgiveness is not a thing for me in my way of thinking now from within uh, from from those that are within my my inner yard you know we both know that and, and have an understanding that we have this sense of obligation to one another and if something were to happen that caused me an offense or that did me wrong um, and this person sought forgiveness or sought a way to, you know, make that wrong right, um, I would be obligated to accept that, and then I would let it be done. Like, once that debt was paid, once that, you know, uh, once the restitution was, pr was provided, and boom, we're done. We're not going to talk about it anymore, we're not going to bring it up again. Uh, what's done is done, the debt has been paid, we move on. Um, or I may... You know, for, for whatever reason, it's kind of would be at my discretion. If, you know, this person recognizes that they've done something wrong, they're not just going to come to me and say, hey man, I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Um, they're going to come to me and they're going to know the sense of, of what has been done and what is needing to be done to make it right, and they're going to come to me with that restitution or with that, that, that deed. They're not just going to come and say, I'm sorry. They're going to show me through their deeds um, that there's, there's, there's true, uh, you know, that I, that I, that I can truly forgive them, that I can let what has happened move on once that debt has been paid. Um, and it's not healthy, you know, guys, I mean, I don't think it's healthy for us to sit and hold grudges, you know, so when somebody's done something wrong to you, if the debt has been paid, move on, don't, don't sit there and think about it, and then a year later go, yeah, remember when you did this, that, or the other, like, guys, we're so far beyond that right now, um, and we're so far ahead of it, once the restitution's been given and the debt has been paid, why even bother staying you know, holding on to that. It's not healthy uh, for anybody, um, mostly the person holding on to that. It's, it's, it's not healthy at all. Um, so I don't think that we should be doing that. I don't think that we should be, you know, holding on to the grudge. And, and, and some might say that if you don't forgive 
somebody, if you don't give forgiveness, if they say, I'm sorry, if they're like, you know what, will you please forgive me? I was, I was out of line. I'm never going to do it again. That if we don't give them that I forgive you sort of acknowledgement that we are, in a sense, holding a grudge. And I disagree. Um, I'm not going to forgive you for it because you have not come to me with any sort of debt restitution, you know, there's, there's, you're not paying me back for the wrong that you've done, you're just saying I'm sorry, um, and that's not enough, and I'm not going to entertain any more thoughts about it, I'm not going to, you know, have, have it enter my mind anymore, um, if you're truly sorry, you will come to me and show me, then we can start the process of, you know, healing, or, or the moving on, or moving past things, I'm not just going to be like, yeah, cool, I accept your apology, and you're forgiven, and we're done, that's not how I view things, and that's not how I personally take it. Um, you know, so for heathens, I mean, for this heathen at least, you know, this forgiveness concept is, you know, just one option for resolving an offense. It's, it's given solely at the discretion of the offended one, of the offended party, you know. So my giving of this forgiveness thing is, is solely at my discretion, whether you want to call it forgiveness, whether you want to call it, you know, a pardon, you know, whatever term you want to call it, it's, it's truly at the discretion of the offended one. Um, and, and, but so the goal, obviously, is, is to solve a problem, right? Like, we have an issue, we have to fix something, there's been something that's done, uh, that was done that was wrong, you know, so we have a problem, yo, let's solve it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and, you know, so resolving that offense and mending those fences and, and adjusting, you know, things, uh, the, the relationship, uh, it requires, first of all, the offended one to accept the terms of which the, this, this, healing is going to take place. Um, and one other thing that I would add too is, is in, in, the, in the concept of forgiveness is that, uh, you know, heathens, we don't have this, I don't think I've met really any heathen um, that, that, tr that truly feels this way. I know I don't. Um, we don't have this, uh, you know, this idea that we're bound by like, a divine law um, and, and we're not seeking, sitting here asking for forgiveness from our holy powers. They're not sitting there on some, some, you know, judgment throne judging us because our gods and goddesses our deities are are not flawless themselves they they you know we, we read about them through our lore and uh examples throughout history of of times when you know they they messed up or they made a mistake or they did that or the other so um we we see much of ourselves within our gods i think and and we're not we're not bound by any sort of divine law that says you know just because we exist we have to seek forgiveness from some sort of like original sin, something that you may hear about in the, in the Christian uh, circles or the Christian uh, worldview of things. You know, we're not bound by anything like that. We don't have that. We are who we are. We are what we are. We are. You know, we are. We are great. We are known. We are not by our deeds. Everything that we are is is based on what our deeds are and what our actions are. So um, we don't have any sort of original sin to have to ask for forgiveness from our gods. For we don't have to worry about what we're going to do every day that you know that we transgress them that we break some sort of divine uh, you know law or saying or something in our you know holy texts um, do we need to ask their forgiveness do we need to beg their forgiveness we don't have anything like that uh, to go by so this concept of forgiveness is truly and purely between um, in a societal sense it's between individuals between parties between people between tribes and clans collectives what have you. Um, so that is my take on this concept of forgiveness, and I am anxious and curious to hear what all of you have to say about it. You know, does forgiveness f fit within uh, heathenry today? Do we have something, you know, does any of this fit into what we're trying to be and do as modern heathens? And if so, how do we fit into our society? So let me know down in the comments what all you think of this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share it around on your pages, in your timelines, on your channels, wherever you know that heathens gather. Please share this content, let them know to come over, check it out, subscribe, ding the bell for notifications so that you never miss anything. Thank you all again for your constant support. Hail, and I'll see you all in next week's video.